Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Vancouver Learns How to Drive. Let's get right into it. First video, uh, this intersection here is kind of a pain in a butt. Uh, this happens all the time. If I'm going straight and you're making the left turn, you have to be yielding to me. So that's, that's a close call right there. Be better. Again, you should be stopping at stop signs, not blowing right through them. We stop for no one. That's that's not a good motto. If you're going to cut me off, at least turn into the proper lane. And there was nobody behind me, so he could have waited. In this case, I swerved, which you should try to avoid. Um, you know, in, I had an island in this case to swerve onto. So stop, if anything. Red light, just hanging out. It's construction zone. So, you know, obviously we're stopping. This guy does not want to stop because cyclists do not have to stop at red lights uh, because they're invincible. Yeah. Idiots. Just stop. I mean, that, that car was already stopped behind the other vehicle, so just stay stopped. This intersection here is very annoying at times, so I have a a green arrow to turn right this guy is obviously jaywalking so if you're gonna jaywalk be a little bit more respectful and have better timing now same intersection facing north and this individual here decides that they are going to the gas station so they're making a u-turn and remember those guys there on the right hand side they're making a right turn on their green arrow so now this guy has to stop let this guy in and he's just going to the gas station instead of getting there a different way and there's a gas station on the other side of the road as well. So just be better, make better choices. Turn into the frickin' street. Like just doing U-turns in the middle of these intersections is, is very irresponsible. Um, here, is, this is not how you make a left turn, okay? This is very dangerous and just not smart. Another one ubiquitous at this point these u-turns are at least this guy made it on the red light not condoning that behavior but better than on the arrow that looks like a left turning lane to me doesn't it yeah and then this guy here behind the guy that was on the wrong, wrong side of the road is in the left turning lane but then he decides to go straight and runs the yellow light i mean what are we doing at this point folks a little bit of a jaywalking situation it was a hot day drink some pot of water having a convo in the middle of the road is not a good spot so just don't do it not very smart folks make better choices please if you're going to turn right turn to the lane that is the closest to you and then make up your mind and stay there if you're gonna turn into the wrong lane. I mean, again, this red car right here could have turned to the bus lane, could have turned behind me as there was no one behind me, cuts me off. This guy was behind me, decides to cut me off. He's going straight, he could have stayed in the other lane. You know, you can drive smart and aggressively at the same time, it's called defensive driving. another u-turn so check out this situation again that's how accidents happen i mean it's it's just frustrating teachable moment do not stop for people jaywalking unless they're already you know at a point where it's obviously unsafe but there's a crosswalk right there so don't encourage people to encourage people to jaywalk it's it's not safe and you can actually fail your road test stopping in the middle of the road why look at all that space to pull over so I'm stopping, I'm gonna assess the situation, this guy's waving me through, I'm gonna go around. Lyft, Uber, and cab drivers are the worst. So, expect that at all times. Right turning lane, my right of way, apparently not. I guess if you drive a bigger vehicle, you can just go, so. I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, this guy's making a right turn from a left turning lane. Oh no, he's going straight. Okay. Yeah. Good choices. 
It's happening right in front of my eyes. I mean, what are we doing at this point? Another one. Right turn signal on. Going straight through the intersection. Fast forward a little bit. Maybe we'll make a right turn here. Okay, we will, but super slow. I mean, my students drive better than that. Come on, folks. Another teachable moment. Pay attention to the red car on the top left there. We've, we've got about five car lengths there, so that car should definitely be stopping. It's a yellow light, that's a lot of space. I'm stopping, they just blow through the right, uh, red light, yellow rather, and that was a close call. So if you can stop, definitely stop. Uh, that car right there is going to cut me off again. Could have been turning to the left lane first. Uh, cuts off that white car coming up there as well. Like, what are, what are you doing, folks? Don't drive like that. Make better choices. Don't cut people off. Another teachable moment. So I'm going to stop here, assess the situation. If it's safe, I'm going to go around. It is a double yellow line. Um, you know, you can definitely fail your road test for that. So you can always ask the examiner what to do in that situation. If you're not sure, you know, some of them will be okay going around. Some of them may not be. So you can always wait at the end of the day. Um, so if you're going to go around the car like this guy here, make sure you have lots of space. Now the car coming up behind him, he's just going to blow right through around this garbage truck. Um, does not respect me at all. So, you know, make sure you stop in that situation. Don't just drive on the other side of the road and think that I have to slow down for you. It's not the way it works. Uh, this person right up ahead, it's just made a left turn, has their left turn signal turned on. Now at this intersection, or the previous intersection rather, it does happen a lot because you're not making a full uh, revolution of your steering wheel. So it's the same thing when you make a lane change. A lot of times your turn signal doesn't cancel itself depending on what kind of car you drive. So make sure that you pay attention and, you know, listen for that. Uh, look at your dash. You know, if you can't hear the click and sound, then I don't know. But the signal is still on and this is already, uh, you know, third intersection, second uh, lights, if you will. So make sure that you pay attention to that because you will definitely fail your road test if you drive straight through the intersection with your signals on. Uh, a little bit of off-roading. Pay attention, you know, some of these lanes are narrow, but you shouldn't be driving over curbs. Um, this guy right here making the left turn he's you know way over to the right side you should be more in the center if you're going to make a left turn um, so position yourself in the center if you're making the left turn let the other cars pass and then last but not least if you are going to open your door or if you are going to be pulling out from a curbed position or when you pulled over make sure that you do your shoulder checks and check your mirrors for situations such as uh what just happened so stay safe out there folks uh keep practicing and uh thank you for your support take care